Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMAnow.com with Josh Thompson. How's it going, sir? Doing good, man. Just uh, getting ready to go hang out with Tyson, you know, and kick the sorrows around, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what, what did you think of his performance? You know, I thought Tyson looked good. You know, from what I understand from the judges' cards, it was 1-1 uh, one, one on 1, he was down 2 on 1, and he was up 2 on 1. I had it 1-1 one, one myself, and, um, you know, he needed to win a third. And, um, you know, he was put in a bad position in, in, the, in that third round. But no way should have been stopped, and uh, I think you heard the crowd. The crowd oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was stopped like, I've had everyone come up to me, and the media's come up to me, and everyone's talking about it. But regardless of that situation, he would have had to come back from a, from a tough third round. He needed to finish the, fi the fight well. I mean... He was landing good, but he was kind of backing up a lot. Like, the old Tyson Griffin used to move forward as a tank. I mean, he's built like a tank. He no, I agree with you 100%, but you know what, though? you got to fight guys smart these days. You can't... And I'm not saying that running, you know, or circling and using your footwork to get mm -hmm. away is, you know, is for every fight. But you got to fight certain guys a certain way, you know, to, to land. If you notice Tyson was landing that, to me, I felt like Tyson was landing the cleaner shots when they got in the range for the boxing. Um, it just, he put himself in, he jeopardized himself in a couple situations. You know, he shot, he shot kind of a lazy takedown. He kind of threw a couple lazy kicks and he got countered, you know, and uh, those are just things that we got to work on. He just started training AK, you know, he's, he's had two fights now with us, this, is, this one being his second fight. So we're getting him into the groove of things, you know, and like he's had a long layoff and uh, it's just nice to have him there, you know, and working out. He's training with us full time with Gray now, Gray Maynard and you know and Neil Lahad. So we got a good group of guys there. It's just a matter of getting the guys, you know, like Gray and Tyson. Uh, they're just coming into AK, their first two fights with us and stuff. And so it's just getting them into the groove of how things work and trusting them in the AK method and getting it to work. That's all. Now what's going on with um, with you since the Nate Diaz win? Uh, you know, I mean I'm just getting healed up from uh, from my, my knee and elbow surgery and everything's feeling good right now. So um, you know I'm just trying to ease back into it nice and safely so I don't get injured. You know, I don't want to take any any fights that, that may uh, may jeopardize me getting injured right away. So I mean I'm looking forward to you know uh, my full a full camp and getting ready to get started. That's it. I mean like I feel like I'm ready to fight, you know, and then I start training hard and everything's feeling good. So uh, it's only been about two weeks of me training hard. So I just want to ease back into it nice and easy, though. Now, I, I, I've come to love the Diaz brothers style, but it's kind wait, of been... Wait, wait, before, let me stop you real quick. I'm a Diaz fan. Okay. I'm a Gilbert Melendez fan. I'm a Diaz fan. I like the way they fight. Uh, they're entertaining. I think they're good for the sport. I think just that style and everything. I, I love it, dude. They come to fight. So go ahead. I'll okay, but, <laughs> but so having said that, so you don't get a shitload of people from the 209 blowing you up, um, they kind of been exposed in the wrestling department or the kick and move on the outside. And now, you, did you kind of know you were going to kick and move and, and, and use that style against them and, and set up that high kick? No, honestly, we were going to actually take him down a lot more than I realized I was way faster. You know, I, my, my hands were getting in and landing, and uh, my kicks were definitely getting there on time, mm -hmm. so uh, I wasn't getting countered. And I just kept using my footwork, and, and it ended up being, uh, you know, kind of uh, kind of what won me the fight. So the footwork and the countering and, and just staying tight, not, not getting into a brawl, and that's really what we focused on in the camp. You know, we planned on getting a lot more takedowns, but um, I felt like the stand-up was working so good for me in the first that we didn't have to. I think that was a good night, uh, good night for Strike Force. Uh, yeah. Strike Force never died, wasn't it? I think I think more guys won than than lost. Yeah, I mean, Gil had a rough decision uh, against Benson, you know, and um, but uh, but I felt like all the Strike Force guys came through. They've been coming through in the UFC, so that's not really. I think what it is though too. I'm I'm not. I can't say anything against the UFC guys. I just felt like, honestly, that um, the UFC guys never really watched or paid attention to the Strike Force guys. You know, and they never watched, probably never watched our fights. Yeah. Me, I sat at home and just always watched UFC. Fights, right? I always watched everyone's fights. You know, so when I got there, I knew what to expect from Nate, and um, you know, and I know what to expect from a lot of guys that are fighting in the UFC right now. So those are the things I think. You know, if you want to, just because you fight in the biggest organization in the world, you still got to watch the guys that may eventually one day get signed. You know, and um, you know, to me, I felt like I, I, I knew, I knew. It seemed like I knew exactly what Nate was going to do before he did it. So. Do you ever think you and Gil are going to go a fourth round? <laughs> you know, honestly. I hope not, man. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna lose another five years off my life. They're Every, tough either way, man. They're, Fifteen they're years are knocked off a year around, <laughs> man. I mean, it's been it's been 15 rounds. I mean, just a brutal, you know, beat, beatings between each other. So I got a lot of respect for the guy, you know, and obviously for the Diaz brothers, you know, and uh, those guys at that camp. So we're all local guys. We see each other everywhere. 
And um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a fan of theirs, so that's that's really what it comes. Couple to. last questions. You, you involved at all with AKA Thailand, the the Swick and some of the guys are starting. I to mean, we're just I'm involved as in like, hey, you know, he's he's a good friend of mine. He's a um, he's somebody that uh, is starting his own thing right now over in Thailand, and and I'm going to be the, one of the first guys to go over there to help support it. And, you know, and that's really what it comes down to. I'm glad that he's really uh, he's coming out there and he's trying to bring the AKA name out there, and that's good. I I, I haven't been to Thailand myself, but I was over in Singapore, and a lot of the guys came over from Thailand. Uh, um, for for some fights there, and um, and everyone just kept just talking to me about hey, you know, these types of training and things like that. So the last thing about some of the grappling at AK, I talked to Crazy Bob Cook last week about how you know you can say that a lot of the the background is from him from catch wrestling, but now you got the new great jujitsu coach out there, right? Yeah, that came last year. Yeah, we have Leandro Vieira, the uh, Leo Vieira, Ricardo Vieira, all of the check mat guys. They're all coming out. Uh, speaking of Buchecha, who's one of the basically the best right now, a beast. He's the best guy right now in jujitsu world, probably basically the best ever. I, did, I trained twice there. with you guys on the pros last year. Okay. Uh, a week before Kane's uh, first fight against Bigfoot. And, and I love the class and the training. It was awesome. So, you know, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it was just, it's great to have, you know, the consistency of the jiu-jitsu coach being there and uh, also just, like, Leo, Leo, Leo Vieira is there right now. He's just training full-time with us, you know, and it's awesome having him there. And like I said, when you have guys like Butchacho who will be coming in and working with Kane and, D and DC, giving them a chance, you know, to, to feel what a, a true jiu-jitsu guy feels like, you know, at their weight, it's going to be phenomenal, man. I, I just, I think we can only do this as a team, and just got to work together. All right, guys, go to promomemanow.com. Subscribe to my YouTube page at Dan the Wolfman. Twitter, YouTube, anything? Yeah, at the Real Punk on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and all that other stuff. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks, guys.